Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. I've been uh, doing some experimenting with three uh, trains I have up and running. Uh, I've got the uh, CN train going. And then of course I've got uh, my CXX train running as well. And then I got my Bowser's going as well. Alright, the Canadian Pacific and CN are traveling on the same line in the same direction. And then of course the CSX is going in the opposite direction. I've tried running four, two on each line, but that's just a little too much for one person. Uh, three is the limit. Two on one line and then uh, one on the next. They're all running at uh, speed step 25 on the dial. So the operation of this layout is for two uh, people to run this. I can add a uh, third and fourth person as well. If there's four of us down here, then uh, we can put two trains on each main line. Without any, ha without any collisions. I've already had one collision tonight. So I decided uh, three is the limit for myself. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta go throw a switch in the other room. So I'm in the other room. I just threw the switch for the uh, CSX train, which I classified as my northbound train. I've got two southbounds. Seems how the longest part of my railroad runs uh, north and south. For the longest runs. This one's running out on the main line number one. And the other two are running on main line number two. So this dwarf signal, right here, the green light indicates uh, line one, the red light indicates line two. So I have a series of these little dwarf signals around. Just basically tells me and helps me out which way uh, switches are running. Um, same way with this switch. Yeah, the signal head here. I've had a question asked how am I operating my lights? So when the switch is thrown between lines one and two, they're straight through. When that yellow light comes on, that's a crossover. And then I have another one, a red light, to stop a train because it's something that's entering the freight yard. And the same way with this signal here. This signal's got a red light, and the other one down here has a green light. So when I throw that switch, this turns to uh, green, and the other one turns to red. 
It just allows uh, trains to uh, So I don't have somebody going like, okay, I got a red light there, so I can't move that train. So I decided to put the lights up here instead of on my control panel. As you can see, my control panel is here. So each toggle switch is hooked up to these lights. It just tells me which way the switch is thrown. Seems how the last train went by. I'll reset uh, the switch for main line one again. And I got another train coming through. Now I have to reset that for line two. And this switch here. And the other switch that I've got over here, and that one right there, oops, this switch here, they're both hooked up to the same uh, toggle switch, so they both get thrown at the same time. That's how that's working. That's how I'm doing my signaling. It's quite simple, straightforward. Everything's going to be done that way. Now I'll just set this for uh, line one again as soon as the train uh, enters the tunnel. And I'm sure my CXX train is going to be coming through shortly. This is how my signaling system works. All the green lights indicate main line for the sidings and then red to enter the siding. So here's a siding here. If I throw this switch, it tells me I can go in. Then I am going to have another signal hooked up to the other end that when these get thrown, It'll be a red light in the main line and the train will have to stop. That's how that's working. Uh, let's see if I can get a good shot in the other room. Okay, since I purchased these Bowsers, I have had no problems. You can see how smooth everything is running. They're performing quite well. I am going to buy some more of these uh, Bowsers. Probably, I'm going to end up doing an engine review on them. Comes my CSX train through the tunnel. So I will be doing a review on the, on those. So if anybody's buying them, I recommend them. Anyways, is there a Really nice, nice smooth running. Like I said in my previous videos, I run all my locomotives on 128 speed step. They uh, perform on that speed step quite well. And everything's set at 25 on the dial. So everything just is running nice and smooth. There are some speed variances between the three trains. Not very much though. Every once in a while I gotta slow one down because it's catching up the other one or speeding one up. Everything's running great here, so. We've got no uncoupling issues. And of course, Tsunami come out with a proper sound decoder for these, so I'm going to have to swap these sound decoders out and put the proper ones in. It's 
too bad they didn't figure that out sooner before I put them in. But, you know, as they say, you know, shit happens, so. Well, that just gives me an excuse to go and buy the locomotives for those uh, sound recorders. <laughs> more, it's more than one way to skin a cat. As for senior wise, I haven't done too much more work because I'm getting prepared to uh, rip some track up in the other room and start uh, a little uh, freight yard. So construction in this room for now is being halted because I'm almost done in the other room so I'm going to finish the uh, all the construction and uh, scenery in the rec room. I really haven't got much more to go. Uh, we'll go back in there and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so we're back in the rec room. So here I'm going to add another piece. I'm going to build this out this way a bit more. But on an angle. From this corner to that TV. It's going to be another yard. This. Uh, this, all this is coming out, this track. I'm going to rip this all up and restart this. And get this finished. Like I said, this section here is almost done. Just got to add a few more buildings. Finish off my backdrop. So I'm going to concentrate in here for now. And uh, I got some new items I've done. So I've finally added a uh, programming track down here and I've gone out and got another uh, super throttle so now I have two of these plus uh, my utility throttle so that gives me control of five trains. The backdrop here has got to get finished all the way down to there. And then of course that backdrop along there is going to get finished along with this wall here. And then of course the backdrop is going up the stairs. I still got a couple of switches to add, and add down in here. I found out that I'm going to need uh, four more switches added in. Yeah. That's it for the update guys, that's uh, just thought I'd shoot a video and show you what the three trains would look like running through here. Please leave a comment, let me know what you think. I'm also looking for a new name for my railroad. So if anybody has any suggestions on what to call this railroad, it's going to have both Canadian and American uh, trains running on here. So, all right, guys, that's it for now.